merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all, and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather around the table of the Lord, we celebrate the memorial of Saint, of Saint Cecilia, virgin and martyr, patroness of music and musicians. We ask for her intercession that we may always choose the right influences in our lives so that we may continually sing glorious praises to our Lord. And so let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of your handmaid, Saint Cecilia, grant, we pray, that what has been devoutly handed down concerning her may offer us examples to imitate and proclaim the wonders works in his servants by Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the book of the prophet Daniel. In the third year of the reign of Joachim, king of Judah, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon came and laid siege to Jerusalem. The Lord handed over to him Jehokim, king of Judah, and some of the vessels of the temple of God. 
he carried them off to the land of Sinar and placed the vessels in the temple treasury of his God. The king told Aspenas, his chief chamberlain, to bring in some of the children of Israel of royal blood and of the nobility, young men without any defect, handsome, intelligent, and wise, quick to learn and prudent in judgment, such as could take their place in the king's palace. They were to be taught the language and literature of the Chaldeans. After three years' training, they were to enter the king's service. The king allotted them a daily portion of food and wine from the royal table. Among these were men of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. But Daniel was resolved not to defile himself with the king's food or wine. So he begged the chief chamberlain to spare him this defilement. Though God had given Daniel the favor and sympathy of the chief chamberlain, he nevertheless said to Daniel, I am afraid of my lord the king. It is he who allotted your food and drink. If he sees that you look wretch, by comparison with the other young man of your age, you will endanger my life with the king. Then Daniel said to the steward, whom the chief chamberlain had put in charge of Daniel, Hananiah, Misael, and Azariah, Please test your servants for ten days. Give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then see how we look in comparison with the other young men who eat from the royal table and treat your servants according to what you see. He acceded to his request and tested them for ten days. After ten days, they look healthier and better fed than any of the young men who ate from the royal table. So the steward continued to take away the food and wine they were to receive and gave them vegetables. To these four young men, God gave knowledge and proficiency in all literature and science. And to Daniel, the understanding of all visions and dreams. At the end of the time, the king had specified for their preparation. The chief chamberlain brought them before Nebuchadnezzar. When the king had spoken with all of them, none was found equal to Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. And so they entered the king's service. In any question of wisdom or prudence which the king put to them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters in his kingdom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. 
Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury. And he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. For those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth. But she, from her poverty, has offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kapag tinuturuan ho natin kumain ng gulay ang isang bata, madalas ano bang sinasabi natin? Kumain ka ng gulay para lumakas ka. Kainin mo yung gulay para magkaroon ka ng sustansya. Kumain ka ng gulay para hindi ka magkakasakit. Yan yung kadalasang sinasabi natin o di kaya tayo rin narinig din natin nung tinuturuan tayong kumain ng gulay dahil para bang gustong ipaabot sa atin yung sustansya. Pero alam din natin na hindi madaling kumain ng gulay dahil minsan hindi masarap, minsan mapait, minsan hindi kaaya-aya yung lasa. Kaya para bang lahat ng pwedeng sabihin na maganda tungkol sa gulay, sasabihin natin para makumbinsin natin yung bata na kumain ng gulay. But our first reading does not simply focus on the importance of eating vegetables. Yes, Daniel and his companions have proven that eating vegetables is beneficial for one's health. However, it also reminds us of how do we let others influence us? Sino o ano ba ang nag influence sa atin? The king of Babylon was insistent that all his subjects would eat from the royal table and be served with wine. Because for him, to be fed from the, lo from the royal table is an assurance that they would be well-fed. Dahil alam nung hari kung anong kinakain niya, alam niya rin kung anong ipapakain niya dun sa mga taong nasa ilalim niya. But what was his standards with regard to his food? Although our first reading is silent about it, maybe the standards of the king with regard to his food is simply how it would taste in his mouth. Dahil masarap, pwede na yan. Dahil kaaya-aya dun sa panlasan ng hari, yan yung kanyang batayan dun sa kanyang ipapakain. If it is something palatable, then it is acceptable for the king. Hindi na mahalaga kung masustansya yung kinakain nila. But for Daniel and his companions, they did not, they did not allow themselves to be swayed by the king of Babylon. For them, 
they saw the importance of the nourishment that God provides them by basing their dietary plans according to their Jewish custom. Dahil ito yung mga itinakda ng Diyos na kakainin nila, yun yung sinunod nila. And it did not fail them. It was enough for them to be given enough strength for their bodies and a healthier well-being. And this is the same question that is being thrown to us. Not about the food that we eat, but to whom do we allow ourselves to be influenced with? What are our standards for those who would influence us? Kanino ba tayo magpapa-influensya? Sino o ano ba yung batayan natin nung mag i sa atin? For Daniel and his companions, it was clear for them to whom they will allow themselves to be influenced with. It may not be the popular choice. It may not be the choice of the king of Babylon. It may not be something palatable, but it will always be something beneficial. For the king of Babylon, what was important for him was the easy result. Dahil ito yung masarap, ito yung katanggap-tanggap. Ito yung okay sa panlasa ko, ito yung tatanggapin ko. It was an easy result. It was quick fix. Dahil masarap yung pagkain niya, okay na yun. Hindi na mahalaga kung may sustansya. Sometimes, that is also the standard of our choices. What is easy, what is quick fix, what is delicious, what is acceptable, what is beautiful, we don't give time in understanding the choices that we will make. Nagiging batayan lang natin yung agaran at yung pinakamadali. Nauubusan tayo ng pasensya sa matagal na resulta. But good choices and good influences does not necessarily give us quick results. It was only after 10 days that Daniel was able to prove to the chief chamberlain that they are healthier than the rest. It took time for their healthy meals to take effect. The same goes with us. The right influences that we choose will yield a delay in results, but it will always be the best results. But if we settle for what is immediate, for what is quick fix, then we can expect that it will not last long. Ano o kanino ba tayo magpapa-impluensya? Sa kung ano ba ang madali at katanggap-tanggap? O dun sa tama, ngunit may katagalan ng resulta? Kaya ba nating maghintay sa magandang resulta na nina- ninanais nina- natin? O mas gusto natin yung minamadali? Daniel and his, com- Daniel and his companions allowed themselves to be influenced by God. And it made them cut above the rest. The results were not immediate, but it was the best. Do we allow ourselves to be influenced by God? Or are we influenced by the many influencers and enablers today? Hopefully, we can find God in these influences that we choose. And we can be patient enough to reap the best results that awaits us. Please stand. The widow in the temple gave everything she had. Her generosity humbles us. Let us be generous in our prayers for others, responding to the God who gives without ceasing. For every intention, you will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a church, we may be generous enough to share, not only from our abundance, but from our own poverty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer prayer, that public officials may be freed from greed and abuse of power. Let us pray to the Lord. 
nor hear our prayer, that widows, single parents, and orphans may grow in holiness and be blessed with God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that the sick may unite their sufferings with the sufferings of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that our deceased relatives and friends may be welcomed to God's eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, open our hearts to those around us so that we may recognize your presence in our neighbors and friends and discover the happiness in sharing our life with them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy eaters. May the offerings we bring in celebration of St. Cecilia win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray. Just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Cecilia, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall. 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and answered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Cecilia, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily, our daily bread, bread, and forgive, and forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under, my, under roof, my roof, but only, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand.
Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Saint Cecilia a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.